everyone, this is Gabe from Pro One Innovations and on this occasion I wanted to show you some evidence about the intelligent sun. A life form. An intelligent life form. How am I going to prove this? Okay, I'm going to show you a video where you can actually see how the sun can actually attract and reject material from space at will. A good example are the comets. Number two, the increased earthquake activity registered from very well-known sources within the United States. And just to give you a reference, in 1997 we only had 176 earthquakes registered worldwide. 2,257. 2,003, 356. 2,004, 1,009. 2010, 1,250. And as of January 29th, 2011, 75. An average of 2.7 earthquakes a day around the world. Now, I'm going to show you how is it that the sun is actually taking care of us. And the way I'm going to prove it is you know that I have the links to very reliable sources of information on the sun's activity on my channel. So you need to click on each and every one of those and you will have access to the satellites and records of those agencies. And mostly my main focus on 2010 was how the sun was getting hit by comets, the damage they caused on the surface of the sun, and the subsequent CMEs coming out of it. But we have noticed that the CMEs were never really Earth directed. I base my theory on the um, CMEs proton density, the bulk speed it was coming at, and the ionic temperature it was coming with. But lately I have concluded that the Sun is actually protecting us and holding on to those CMEs or somehow diverting them so it doesn't hit the earth. And you're going to see that on the videos on those links that I'm telling you about. But mostly I want you to look at this link right here. Right? That video is going to show you what I'm trying to explain to you right now. And my focus now has changed, not from the CMEs, but mostly the aftershocks of the CMEs. Because again, the CMEs aren't coming directly towards Earth. But after a CME comes out, you can actually see the explosion. It's mainly the aftershock that affects us here on Earth actually see how the earthquake activity has risen since the 1990s and I'm asking you for your collaboration on if you have any links to look at the records if somebody has an idea how to measure this the aftershock of those CMEs because that is basically what is affecting the earth all right that explosion the aftershock is what's actually making the, war, the, the earth earthquake activity increase. Alright, so if you have any links to that, is there, if somebody keeps record of it, because I know it's going to be quite impossible, but if somebody has any idea of that, please let me have that information. I need it. So we're going to keep mo monitoring the sun's activity and the earthquake activity here on earth we can actually see what the Sun is actually trying to do because I promise you the Sun is actually an intelligent organism the reason the Sun keeps the, the earth warm is because you know that the earth's core is not by solid basically it needs that heat to keep rotating around the Sun All right? you have to look at it from that point so let's 
keep monitoring the sun. Hopefully we can understand what it's trying to do. Because trust me, the sun is the main source in our daily lives. Okay? Keep in touch.